What's up guys, it's W Drums back from your live for my room. We've got Pop Fizz this time. About to do uh, his uh, quest guide. So you go to the quest. Hit A. Hit A again. Open it up. Boom. So we've got Monster Masher. Defeat a thousand enemies. Basically just go through all the PvPs. I'm sorry, um, heroic challenges, Jesus. Heroic challenges, and pretty much it'll add up very quickly. I recommend doing the ones that uh, you have to kill 100 chompies, like Terrafins, True Wreck, I'm sorry, um, Stump Smashes, or um, Warnados. Any of those, I mean, just do a lot of the heroic challenges. It'll add up so fast, believe me. Chowhound. Eat 50 pieces of food. There's so much food around the story mode. There's a lot of food in the heroic challenges. But if you want to get it done even faster, follow me. We will walk over to this guy, Brock. I go to the very first one, easiest one, stop the spell. Just do that. And every time you defeat a wave of enemies, you get like six pieces of food around. It's great. You get it done very fast. We got Arena Artist, which is where you have to um, not lose any damage and complete an arena. What I just showed you is the one I always do. It's very easy. And you get Chow Hound accomplished as well while doing it. And not to mention, the arena adds on to your total of uh, a thousand yeah, enemies killed. So it's great. Puzzle Power. This one I'm going to show you personally. You have to defeat 25 enemies with light puzzle beams. This gets complicated. So, I'm just going to have to show you. Because you go to 14, um, chapter 14, Auto Gyro Adventure. This one was so weird for me because it's poorly explained. But, I'll show you exactly what I did. But also, basically, all you have to do is you don't have to enter any um, special elemental gates or whatever with the ship. There are a bunch of those in this level. You only need to enter the ones you're forced to enter, and then you can literally just do the laser alone, which is that. You'll get around 10 or 15 or so knocked out in one try. Right here. I have the laser there. Go hurt enemies there. Get him to walk through. If he can. I can't. Uh. Alright, so you gotta do this one. Watch closely with this. You can shift the beam. How many enemies there are that I just killed? Right there, that's like an easy 10. Same thing here. Get them to follow you. And have them walk right into this. Really easy. Nice and simple. But then also, wait, where I want to do this? Uh, that's right. See? Look at all these guys that spawn. 
and they'll get killed instantly by walking into that. Right there. And pretty much rinse and repeat. So, that was the uh, uh, puzzle one. It's a real pain in the butt, but that's pretty much the way I figured it out is the most efficient way. You can also do Glacier Gulling at the very end, use the laser beam to destroy the, the pots. It does count, but you get like maybe six or seven killed for the total of how long you spend there. It's kind of a waste. But yeah, so we have that finally. Battle Champ. Win 10 PvP matches. Plug in two controllers or whatever system you have. Have one of your guys versus another. Have one of them completely immobile and just go to town. Kill them 10 times, you win. Heroic Challenger, uh, complete any Heroic Challenge without taking damage, so choose like one of the easier ones, like the choppy ones, and do that. Elementalist, this one I found out, you do Chaos Mode, it's really easy if you do this. You go to uh, Chapter 15. Lost City of Arcus, you know, there's a bunch of these things called trogs. They're like these zombie things that keep healing. Use the healing to your advantage, and in oh, chaos oh, mode, or nightmare or whatever you want to call it, these guys will have so much health that you can just keep spamming, attacking them, and letting them grow. It's very, very Ooh, easy. You get it done very numbers. fast on chaos mode. If you don't have um, nightmare mode or whatever unlocked, what you do is magic is strong against undead, so you put magic versus undead in a PvP. Choose an undead with the weakest armor, and then just keep attacking them in PvP, and you'll get elemental bonuses, which means that that element is superior. So you'll get that extra damage on there, and it'll add up over time. It's going to take quite a few PvP matches. That's why I like the chaos mode thing better, I remember whatever you want to call it. And I find it's a lot easier. So it's up to you. And we got Warp Whomper. Defeat one enemy within 10 seconds of using a teleporter. The level that I used for this that I figured it out, I'm pretty sure you can probably do a bunch, but easiest one I found out was Drill X's uh, level. I'll show you exactly what I mean. He is, you're gonna go right over here. You see that teleporter? The second you get in there, you have 10 seconds to kill an enemy. Teleport, kill one of these guys, and you're done. That's how easy that is. Just move quick with haste. And then we've got Rampage. Do 200 uh, HP of damage in a single run in beast form. Really easy way. Is you could do PvP or also do what I showed you before with chapter 15 and just go into his beast mode and attack like crazy. You'll get the elemental boost as well, so you'll do more damage. And that's really easy overall. You'll just go into this form and then just attack like a madman. So then once you have all that completed, each uh, thing, every time you just defeat three quests, you get a new hat. So you get the bronze one, you get the silver one, and you get the gold one. But the night helmet from Chaos Mode, or Nightmare Mode, whatever the heck you want to call it, is a lot better. So, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quest review. Ooh, and take care, numbers. and have a good one. Peace.